up guys welcome back to another video today in this video I am going to be trying to fill up this balloon with a homemade helium recipe let's see how it goes I'm a race car you're gonna need you're gonna need one balloon it can be any balloon I burped you'll need one jumbo size vinegar. You never know how much you'll need. This is one gallon, 1.3 gallons. So that should be enough. You need a water bottle and some baking soda. So to start off, you're going to take your water bottle and open it like so. <clears throat> oh, it spilled. So you're going to open it up and then you're going to dump it all out. Maybe take a sip. But all in all, you're just going to dump it out. You're going to blow it up so it's full sized. Next, you just want to take it and just keep on acting like you're throwing it to get as much water out as possible. You want it to be as dry as possible. Um, if you have time, if I were you, I'd let it sit to get it very dry, but we don't have time for that. So, let's see what to do next. So next, you're going to take your bottle and your baking soda. You're going to open the baking soda. And then, you're going to try to hold down this, so, as much as possible. And you want to pour some baking soda into the bottle. As you can see, I'm doing that. And you want just enough to fill up like the bottom. It depends on your balloon. If it's a really big balloon, you're gonna want more than this. I spilt. So that's about enough. Uh-oh. Okay, we're cleaned up. Then you're gonna take your bottle. Industrial vinegar. And you're gonna open up your balloon. So, yeah. Then, now that you have your balloon, you want to get find the opening spot. So, wherever you have to blow into. I don't know how to fill these up. I've never done this before. Um, if you know how to fill these up, let me know in the comments. I don't. I don't know how to fill these. This is the hardest part. You have to find out how to fill them up. What the hell are you doing? So I asked this this balloon, so I gave up because too hard. So you're gonna take your industrial sized vinegar. Um, this is gonna be hard to pour that in there. But this is the part that you have to do it quickly. So, what you're basically doing, you, you want to put your balloon on top, so then it's like that, and you want, you're going to have to hold it, so I'm going to put this on another way. Okay, so I just reread the instructions, and you're going to want one of these things. It's basically a long spout and like a cup. You're going to take your vinegar, and depending on how much... Mm, um, mm, that was the vinegar. Depending on how much uh, baking soda you put in, that's about how much you want to put of vinegar. So, I'm probably going to put about that much because you don't want to drown it out because if you drown it out, it's not going to work. So, I put about up to like one and a half lines on the water bottle, as you can see. And then I put about maybe about 75 milliliters of liquid. What you're gonna do, you want to take this and get it under this white line and you wanna cover it up as much as possible until it stays in 
and then you're going to want to leave a little hole. And now, what you have to do is try to fit this, the spout, into, I spilled some. That's not good. So, we're going to do this a different way. So, you're going to want to put this, I'm going to put, don't judge it. That way it's like that. And what you're basically going to try to do is after you pour the vinegar, it's going to immediately react. So you, once you pour the vinegar, you want to put this thing on. So to do that, what I'm going to do, I might get a, my dad to help me, but you're going to take this and put it into this, uh, like a road. I'm going to do it in the road. And he's going to pour it in, and then I'm going to take this thing and go, mm. and then it's going to blow it up. So... Let's go see it. I'll see you in the road. Okay, guys, so I got my dad here to help me. He's gonna pour it in after I get my fingers, and he's gonna, once he pours it, I'm gonna put this thing on. Phil! Is it working? It's actually working. Not a very great balloon, but it's working. It actually really hurt my fingers, though. I got to take it off and shake it, so you can probably shake the can. You shake it, it should help that even more. But, it's actually sort of working. But if you keep on shaking every once in a while, it's, it's getting pretty big. Okay, so now you're going to hold it as hard as possible. You're going to try to tie it. I might do this a second time, but I'm going to need to get a different balloon. Maybe I'll try this again with my other balloon, but you're going to tie it up. Okay, so here is our balloon. Let's see if it flies. I don't know if it's supposed to work as helium or if it's supposed to work as just air. There. Let's see. Um, it did not fly, unfortunately. But it's still a little cool. And you guys might not be able to see it, but it's this. Okay, so I wanted you guys to see this. It's hard to see. But there's actually liquid and molecules in there. We might try it again with the other balloon. No, we're not, we can't. We don't have a straw that's going to fit over the can and make it work. Oh. Well, then, yeah. This is my balloon. It's supposed to fly, but it don't fly. Oh, well, it was worth a shot. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um... See you all. I'll see you all next time. No, not again. Bye.